Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 1385, find a distance value between two arrays. This is an easy level problem and we're going to solve it in JavaScript. So basically the prompt's a little bit confusing given the amount of dislikes it got. But what we have here is an array of, in the first input argument is an array one. The second argument is another array. And this third argument is an integer. And it wants us to return an integer. And this integer is how many times it fits the category. It fits the category where the difference of each of this one, each, uh, each index of the array one iterated throughout each one, it gets the absolute value as the difference. And as long as all of them is greater than the D, it gets incremented to the output. And seeing for it happened to for five, the difference, the absolute value of the difference is all greater than D or two. And then the last one, eight minus 10, eight minus nine is less than or equal to D, which is two. So it doesn't get incremented to the output. So first thing we would wanna do is that we have to create a variable to hold the output. So create variable to hold the count, the count. And then next, what we will need to do is that we need to loop through each index of array one. And inside this, we'll have to do another loop inside of it to loop through array two. And inside of this, we, we gotta create a state to keep track if after we loop, after we loop through, well, here, we'll have to create the state inside here. Create. Variable passes. We're just going to pass this for now to true. And then we loop through array two. And this side, we compare each, compare each element of array two to the current element of array one. So what we need to do is find the absolute value. Find absolute value of the difference between element of array two to array one if the difference does not match the D, which is less than or equal to. Here we go. Get rid of this, get rid of this, format this. we will have to increment uh, change passes to and after it finishes this loop, if none of it if passes is still true. We'll have to increment count. And then lastly, we return count. And there we go. So what we need to do is create the variable that count equals zero, starts off at zero. 
Next, we loop through array one. Equals zero. I is less than array one dot length. I plus plus. If now we create the variable that passes equals true. And now we do this, the nested loop for that j equals zero, j is less than array two dot length, j plus plus. And now we create the condition inside of this. If math dot apps the value of the current index of array one minus the current index value of array two. is less than or equal to D, we change it. And then after this loop, after this loop, we still check if passes is true or not. If passes is true, we increment count. And then at the end of this, we return count. This parentheses was misplaced. Great. So the the complexities. The time complexity, since we have two loops, since we have two loops here, and but they're different, um, what we're looping through, so it'd be O of N times M, where each of these is the arrays, and then the space complexity will be, since we're only creating a variable, will be constant variable, so constant space, so O over one. So that is how you solve this problem. Thank you.